This chapter talks about building blocks of managerial accounting. These are the basic concepts and definitions that we're going to be using throughout the semester. Um, please be sure to take notes while you're listening to the lecture and um, pause and to restart as you need um, to make sure that you take adequate notes so that you are prepared for class tomorrow. The first topic under building blocks is the different types of companies. A lot of you know about this, but we're going to talk briefly about these three types of companies. The first type of company is a service company. A service company is a company that provides only a service. Examples include hospitals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, auto repair. Any company that provides a service is classified as a service company. The thing that is um, unique about service companies is that they do not carry any type of inventory. If you remember, inventory is goods held for resale and service companies typically do not carry any goods for resale. The next type of company is a merchandising company. These companies resell products purchased from suppliers. They only have one type of inventory account, which they call merchandise inventory. Examples of companies that are merchandising companies are JCPenney, Walmart, Target, Kroger, all those companies that you see um, that all they do is they buy from a supplier and resell to the consumer. Those are classified as merchandising companies. There are two types of re merchandising companies, retailers and wholesalers. They're both merchandisers. Retailers buy from suppliers or other wholesalers and sell to consumers. Wholesalers buy from suppliers and they only sell to retailers. So retailers and wholesalers are both two types of merchandising companies. The third type of company is a manufacturing company. These companies use labor and other inputs such as electricity, water, to convert raw materials into finished products. There are several manufacturers that you know of, but um, examples that I can think of are Kellogg's, Ford, Apple, Coach, all those are manufacturing companies. The thing that distinguishes manufacturing companies from the other two types of companies are that they have three types of inventory accounts. They have a raw materials inventory account, a work in process inventory account, and a finished goods inventory account. And we'll talk about each of these in detail. The first type of inventory account we're going to talk about is raw materials inventory. Raw materials inventory includes all the materials that they used in manufacturing or building a product. Let's take the iPhone 5 as our product. Let's what are all the raw materials that Apple uses to build iPhone 5? They have, according to their website, they use batteries, aluminum, stainless steel, glass, circuit boards, display, and plastics to build their iPhone 5. All these items would be classified as raw materials, and they would have an account that keeps track of each of these individual items. So they will have an account to keep in track of their battery inventory of batteries, inventory of aluminum, inventory of stainless steel, and all those would be their raw materials inventory. The next type of inventory we're going to talk about is work in process inventory. Work in process is goods that are partway through the manufacturing process, but they have not been completed yet. So these items have some raw materials and some labor, but they are not ready to be sold. They're not finished yet. Um, an example is a home builder will have several unfinished homes that have some labor, some raw materials, and other inputs there, but they're not ready to be sold. The, all the costs that went into producing this partially completed home would be considered work in process inventory. Going back to our uh, example of Apple iPhones, if there were some iPhones that were not halfway, uh, partway through the manufacturing process and um, they have not com been yet completed, the cost of all the inputs that went in there would be considered work in process inventory. So they're not in raw materials, they're not completely finished, they're just work in process. 
third type of inventory is your finished goods inventory. These include goods that have been completed, but they are not yet sold. Some manufacturers sell their mer uh, products to merchandisers, while others sell directly to consumers. Companies like Dell, Dell is a manufacturer, they will sell directly to consumers. Whereas um, the Kellogg Cereal Company, they will not sell directly to consumers, they will sell to a merchandiser and then you will have to buy their product um, through from a merchandiser. That brings us to the end of this topic and we will move on to talk about the value chain.